but I've been wanting to make this video for a little while since purchasing a new head for my power planer. Okay, it's quite late in the day or in the evening, uh, so I'm going to make this as short as I possibly can. This is something I use um, on site a lot, uh, especially for things like filler strips and stuff on cabinetry where I'm doing kitchen cabinetry or something. Um, this is the, the, the cutter head that um, is standard on the uh, or on this model of, of Makita power planer. It is, uh, I'm not sure that it is actually a Tursa knife, but it's same sort of deal. Um, so it's a solid carbide knife that is reversible. Uh, there's no setup involved. You just simply pop the knife in. These are the knives. Working on site, you do, the tools tend to take a bit more of a beating than in the workshop. Um, and so you do tend to end up with some nicks and and so on in the blades and then there's only so much you can move them from side to side before you have to then spin them around and then uh, you know again a couple of nicks here and there and uh, you know they're not not quite as good so for quite a while now I've been umming and eyeing about uh, upgrading the the head to a uh, helical head and so I recently uh, did that and uh, went to um, uh, Shear Attack and I'll put a link in the description below to this this actual cutter head. This probably took me I don't know 15 minutes to change over it was that simple and of course with this style of cutter head um, you have not only four sides to each cutter as opposed to the two with the Tursa style, um, but also, you know, you can change one of the uh, cutters out. Uh, the, um, the head came with, uh, what's it, five spare cutters um, in it. Um, five spare screws and a tool to change them out which like any uh, of this type of uh, cutter head is super simple to to um, change the cutters on just have to be a little careful obviously they are rather sharp if there is a downside to this style of, of cutter head, it is that, that it does seem to take a bit more power to run it. So it may mean that you have to actually slow down with your feed, if you like, uh, over the, or speed over the timber. Um, having said that, uh, the fact that you, you're not changing um, blades uh, as often um, and the the results the planing results themselves are phenomenal like across the grain with the grain whatever like it's incredible and I'm just going to uh, grab some material and and uh, and plane some boards for you now just so that you can actually see how good this thing actually is so I've got this set at about an eighth, uh, sorry, a sixteenth of an inch. And so this is this is with the grain, well, predominantly with the grain, uh, and you can see it is as smooth. As you can get, I mean, there are. I can barely feel any machine marks on this uh, finish. So let me just see if I. 
I'm going to turn that around and I'm going to go the opposite way. So I should get, yeah, see, I've definitely been going across the, uh, against the grain there, but let's try the other way and see how it goes. Well, <laughs> I mean, that, that uh, speaks volumes for me. Like, I, I don't know that you're going to get a better finish. I can just sort of feel some, some machine marks there, but they are so slight. It's, uh, it's wild. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> I just realized this is not maple. This is hickory. So this is substantially harder than maple, um, substantially. You can hear the planer working. It definitely uh, puts more load on the planer itself. Um, but like I said, I firmly believe the uh, benefits outweigh, outweigh the uh, negatives with this, um, with this new head. So... Anyway, like I said, I'll put a, a link in the description to where I bought this and, and uh, just make sure if you're ordering it, uh, decide to order one for your planer that you do check the model number because there are quite a few different ones. So um, if you like this video, please remember to hit uh, like and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, it'll certainly help uh, build my channel. So um, yeah, hope you like the video. See you next one. Thank you.